Okay, I'm going to show you how to install an F-type splitter. One key thing to note when installing an F-type splitter is to make sure that you only use the number of outputs that you require. So if you're only going to have two outputs from your splitter, use a two-way splitter. Uh, don't be tempted to use a four-way just because you want to have some spare. Leaving unconnected outputs from a splitter is bad. So you need to make sure that you've got some slack on your cable. You need to be able to do some termination. So if your cable is really tight and you can't pull any back, probably not a good place to make a split. So I'm just going to cut the cable and not lose either end of it. Pretty important when you're in a roof, sometimes the cable will slip straight down the hole. So I'm just going to terminate each end of the cable now. So I'm using a rotary stripper here. I show in another video exactly how to use these and how to terminate a cable with an F connector. I'm using a compression F connector here. As always, check to make sure now the braid is touching the center conductor and then terminate the cable. Again, make sure there's nothing touching the center. So take the input of the splitter, make sure the input of the splitter is pointing towards the source of the signal, so from the TV antenna. So this would be the cable coming from the TV antenna going into my splitter. And now I just need to cut the other end, or terminate the other end of the cable. So I'm just going to use my rotary stripper again. Checking no braid is touching. Terminate the cable. Now, something to be aware of. In this case, it says here, there's a little line going from in to out. What that means, that's the power pass. So if you're using an amplifier on your antenna, and you need to feed power up from the, from the um, socket to the antenna masthead, you need to make sure that this out, the line going to out, is going to the socket where the power supply is installed. In this case, I'm not going to have to worry about that, so I'm just going to screw my existing connection into there. And now I can bring my new connection in and screw it into the other terminal. And all these just need to be good finger tight, but don't need to be super tightened with a spanner or anything like that. And there we have it. Splitter installed.